Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, I am going to be continuing the video word chart for the right angle weave. I will be using my pattern bell. Now for each consecutive video, I will be showing you your, how your work um, looked at the end of the previous video. That way, if you need to check your work, you can just go to the beginning of the next video um, to see um, how that video's work is coming along and you don't have to like look for it in the video that you're currently working in. Now in this video we're going to be doing row 3 and it begins with the two-step increase which takes up set 1 and set 2 of the beads. So the first set is the beginning of the two-step increase. And you know that you are doing a two-step increase when your string is exiting your first bead away from the end of your row. So as you can see, our bead is exiting away from the end of our previous row. Now first you will add your three beads which we need three B color beads. So we'll add our three. Then we will let them drop down. And then whenever you add three beads, you want to go through the bead that your string is exiting so that it's exiting on the same side. So our string is exiting here. We go through this bead. So our string is now exiting. And then you pull so your three beads are in place. There you go. And then we need to position for the second part of the two-step increase. So we want to go through all three beads that we just added. And your string will be exiting out next to the end of your previous row. And then I flipped over the diagram here so that the um, end of our row is on the top now. And now we're going to add the next three beads, which we need two C colors. And a B color. And we let them drop down. And then again, when we add three beads, we want to go through the bead that our string is exiting. So we'll find the bead that our string is exiting from and go through it. So it's exiting on the same side. And then we pull our work tight. There is our end three beads now added. Then we want, oh, I've turned over the graph again. I'm going to turn over our work. And then we want to position our string so it's coming out in the direction where we're going to add our row. So this is our end of our new row. So we want to go through this side bead where our string is and the top bead of our current row. And that is the two-step increase. Sometimes I find that the beads need to be worked to be tight. There we go. 
rather tight now. So that is the two-step increase. And now we will add our row. Now C means that our string is exiting the top bead of our current row, the top bead of the current row we are working on. And we want to add two beads, which here we need two C color beads. And we will let them drop down to be next to the bead our string is coming out of. And when you add two beads, you need to go through two beads. So we want to first go through the side bead of the previous row and then the top bead of our current row. So the side bead of our previous row and the top bead of our current row, which is also the bead that our string is coming out of. Oh, and we pull our work tight. Turn this in there. So our beads in place. Now to position our string for the next set, we're going to go through the two we've added plus the side bead of our previous row. So we go through the first bead we added. And the second bead that we added. And then we go through this side bead that's right above where we added our beads. And now we are ready to add the next set. And P means that our string is coming out of the side bead of our previous row. So that is where our string is coming out. Then we add our two beads, which is C and B. So we need a C color and a B color. And when we add, or we first let them drop down, and when we add two beads, we need to go through two beads. Now this time we're going to go through the top of our current row and then the side bead that our string is coming out of. So we want to go through the top bead of our current row and then the side bead where our string is exiting and there is that set of beads and then to position for the next set we want to just go through that first bead we added which is our new top bead of our current row and there it is and now we've come to the last set when you're increasing you know you're ready for the last set when your current row lines up with your previous row. Then you know you're ready to add the last set when you're increasing. And for this one, we are going away, meaning that your string is going away from the previous row out of the bead that it is exiting. We are going away from the previous row. And we want to add our three beads, beads which are all A color. And we let them drop down. And then when you add three beads, you go through that bead that your string is exiting. So we can find the bead our 
string is exiting from and go through it so it's exiting on the same side. And then we pull our work tight. There we have finished row three. And then we want to position for row four, which we will then go through the one bead on the side so that our string is coming out towards the end of our row. And we are now ready to add row four, which we will do in the next video. Hope to see you there.